All right, so I wanted to do a tutorial and a project share on these um, shaker envelope embellishment books. I got the inspiration from um, the Vintage Goose, and she actually got the inspiration from uh, Bona at Live Love Scrap. <clears throat> Bona did one with pattern paper on the outside, um, and the Vintage Goose did one with... Um, acetate and as a shaker so she gave me some measurements she had did one uh for a swap and i had saw she had shared it on her instagram and i'll link both of their uh, instagrams and their youtube channels down below so you can go check out their their videos that they have um but she had did one for a swap and i had saw it and i had messaged her and she was kind enough to give me measurements and uh kind of how she did it and then i watched bona's video on how she put the did the envelopes hers was a little smaller I think it might have been like around this size because I think that's where I got this size from but let me just show you real quick this one and this is with the flourish collection and then I haven't decorated this one yet and I use the um, carousel collection and this is the shaker part and the back has a shaker and on hers on the vintage goose she also put um, a pocket on the back so I added this pocket. So I will do a tutorial to, and I asked her permission and she said that that was fine, that I could do a tutorial. So, and she just wanted people to know that uh, she had gotten the inspiration from uh, Live Love Scrap also. So I will do a tutorial on it and let me know if you guys um, make one, um, tag me on Instagram or tag uh, the Vintage Goose on Instagram and that way we can check it out. All right. Okay, so for this tutorial, you are going to need um, acetate. And if you can find the 12 by 12 sheets, because you need something that's bigger than, uh, you can't use the eight and a half by 11 because those will be too small. You're gonna need the acetate, some pattern paper, and this is the one I'm using for this tutorial. This was the, um, kit from it's a kit and it's uh echo park just be you and i got this one at um tuesday morning and it's double-sided but you don't need double-sided but i just wanted to use this one because i had it i've had it there for a little while and uh, it comes with stickers a sticker sheet and then the papers so you are going it depends on how many envelopes you want i on this one i'm going to put uh five i think let me see one two i'm not using this one for another one. Well, actually, I did four. So I already pre-cut my uh, envelope. So you'll need an envelope punch, acetate, your cutter, some twine. Um, I use double-sided tape for my envelopes. You'll need, uh, if you want to uh, make a sequence mix, you'll need sequence for that. Um, then you'll need to, if you're gonna sew it, you know, close, or you can use a fuse tool, whatever uh, you have, you can uh, use, get that. So what I did was, I already pre-cut everything. So let me give you some measurements. I'll give you some measurements, and then I'm going to score the, um, the acetate on camera just so you can kind of see how you score it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, that was loud. So I'm gonna score the acetate and give you the measurements and then I'll do, I'll punch one of the envelopes on camera. So for the acetate, you need two pieces that measure 11 and a half with by six and a half uh, height. So that's why you need the 12 by 12 sheet. You can always adjust it. Like you could, if you only have eight and a half by 11, you can adjust it. But these are the measurements that she gave me. So, and I'm making it that size. So, um, so I'm using those measurements, but you could always adjust it. So again, you'll need two pieces of acetate 11 and a half by six and a half. So I have those. And then for your pocket, for the back pocket, for this, this pocket that's back here, 
you'll need a piece that measures five and one eighth by three and three quarters. So three pieces of acetate. Then on the paper, you're going to use on the punch board. Oh, well first let me, let me um, score these. So on these, we are going to score them both. The big pieces, the 11 and a half by six and a half at five and a quarter. So five and a quarter. And I just kind of go twice. And then you're going to flip it this way and do five and a quarter. And this is going to leave your uh, your spine at about an inch. So I don't know if you can see it, but this is going to be your spine right here. So I scored that one. Let me score this other one. Five and a quarter. By five and a quarter. Okay. So those, we'll put those to the side. Then for your envelopes, I'm gonna move this. We're going to make the envelopes the size for um, the four and a half by six card. So the four and a half by six is right here on the punch board. So we need to cut our paper to eight and a half by eight and a half. And then our score mark is going to be at three and three quarters. This is eight and a half, eight and a half by eight and a half. So we're going to do three and three quarters. Let me turn on my other light so we can see. Sorry, I should have had that light on. Okay, so three and three quarters. Line it up. Punch it. Okay. Yeah. Let me do the corners. So like I said, I already pre wrong one. I already pre punched all my other ones. So you can glue them or use double sided tape, but I, I use a double sided tape. And this is a directional paper. So this is actually gonna be they're gonna be facing this will be the front. So this is how it'll be, but I'm actually going to do it this way. So it's the right side. So when you open the book, you see the envelope opens. Actually, it opens from this way. So it actually might have to be upside down. Like this one was upside down. No, it won't have to be. I just need to do it that way. So I will tape it or glue it on this side. So let me add my tape. And I don't think I checked my other ones like that, so some of those might be upside down, but it's okay. You, you're gonna decorate them anyways, the flaps, so you won't be able to tell that much. And, and I watched also Bona's video, if you watch her video on the one that she made, when she uh, folded her envelopes, she didn't uh, like crease them that well right here. She just kind of folded them like how you saw me do it. You can watch her video just so they have a little bit of uh, space in there. So if you put like an embellishment that's kind of thick, you won't have to like squeeze it in there. It'll it'll fit in there because it has a little bit of space. So then what you're also gonna do is on your twine, I use this one that I got from AliExpress, but you can use like Baker's twine, like this kind, whatever you have that matches. I cut this one at about 25 inches. 
so you're, before you close or glue your envelope down, you're going to put your twine in there and just kind of try to, it doesn't have to be perfect, but as even as you can, get it. And take your tape or get your glue, whatever you're gonna use. And you're going to close it. So this is in there. And, and it can move around still if, if you didn't get it even. You know, you can even it out. So that's all you're going to do for the envelopes. So let me go ahead and uh, get the rest of my envelopes. And then I will show you how I um, get my... Uh, two acetate pieces lined up so I can get them sewn and I might show you how I sew them just really quick on the machine. Okay, so I went ahead and I folded my acetate on the score lines, the five and I think a quarter it was, and I put them together, I lined them up. I lined them up as much as I could on the around the edges and I use these clips for binding, they're like for quilting. Uh, to do the binding on quilting. I use those clips to hold the papers together or the acetate together so it's not slippery. And then when I sew, you need to leave an opening. You're gonna sew the front cover part like a square and then the back cover part, you know, squared. So you'll have to leave a little opening to put your sequence in. So, let me see if I'll be able to do this right on here. So, and I'm using some pink thread. So, you could do a double stitch, which I think that's what I'm gonna do, a double stitch. So I'm going to start about right there. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So, and I like to uh, lengthen my stitches, like make them longer. So I just, um, backstitch, make sure you backstitch. I just lengthen them a little bit. I put mine on a 3.5, just cause I like the way they look like that. Just personal preference. So I'm gonna do a double stitch, but <clears throat> on this one you have to do the or when you do the double stitch you have to do the um, like inner stitch first so you can put your sequence in and then you can you know do the outer one after that once you get your sequence put in and it's not going to be perfect stitches it's kind of hard to stitch on paper or like acetate and I know even the vinyl it's kind of hard to stitch on so like a tip for that when you're sewing on vinyl or even like on paper or like or maybe not so much paper but like acetate to get your um, presser foot this part to move to glide, <clears throat> put a piece of, you can put a piece of washi tape on there or a piece of like scotch tape, but make sure it's like the one that's kind of frosted looking or foggy looking. And that helps, especially with the vinyl, it helps the vinyl slide. Because a lot of the times the metal on the presser foot will stick to the vinyl or like this one has plastic right there and it'll stick to the vinyl and it'll pull it so it'll like it'll feed under there uneven or you'll have like a lot of trouble getting it to move underneath the presser foot so it's just a little tip or trick that i've learned from somewhere else okay so there's the front cover or the back which i actually should have stitched because now my inner I'll probably have this as my back. My inner part is going to be nicer. And then this is like my back, like the back thread. So I should have actually did it like this. Where you're putting the book, the spine on the outside. 
so the spine will be out here like the back of the spine will be out here because you want your pretty stitches to be like on the outside and like that one I had did it backwards but it's okay that'll, that'll be the back of the book so this one I'm going to do again I'm gonna do this one now so So there's the the front. So I'll go ahead and add my sequence, and um, and then I'm gonna do another stitch on the outside. So I, oh, I'm sorry. I went ahead and added my sequence to both sides, and I'm going to stitch them shut. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to add, I need to trim these. I, I don't like to leave the thread. Some people like to leave it. But I'm going to trim that and then I'm going to pick another color to, sorry, my dog's crying outside. I'm gonna pick another color to stitch around this area. And then I had forgot to uh, tell you, you needed a piece of the design paper, um, six and a half by one inch. And that's gonna be for your okay, spine. Ah. This is probably not going to be the straightest stitching, but it'll do. I'll probably do a double stitch on that one too, just to make it match the other one. So it's hard to see the stitching, but that's what you're gonna do for the center for the spine. So let me change my thread out and then I'm going to sew the other uh, stitching on here. Probably won't do that on camera, but I'm gonna sew the other uh, stitches on here and then I'll come back and show you how to put the envelopes in. Okay, so I went ahead and added my second row of stitches so I, like I said, I did a double stitch and my stitching's not the best, but it, it'll look okay once you cover it up. So I, I had forgot to add the pocket because you want to add the pocket to the back. So I had already did my stitch up here, my, my uh, second stitch, the navy one. I used like a navy blue. So I just, all I did was go and just uh, clip it with those binder clips, the binding clips. And then I just stitched, started above the pocket and I stitched right over those lines again, and it doesn't look bad. So that's the front, and that's the back. So now we need to add the envelopes. So you need to find out what order you want the envelopes in. And remember, this is going to be the front. So when you open the book, these envelopes are going to open like this. Because you're going to decorate this, and then you'll have your embellishments in there. So just put them in the order that you want them to be in. And you're going to try to get them all lined up. And you can like pull your strings to be, you know, even enough to tie them. So then you put them in the book like that. 
and you're going to tie these as tight as you can. It's kind of hard to do, but I'm just doing it right here. So just tie it. My double tie it. They come a little loose, so you might have to squeeze that. Oh. Just make sure your twine is on the right, like it's on the spine right. And I may undo this and tie, try to tie them a little tighter. I think that's good because it's if you do it too tight it'll bend that paper there but it's good so all I'm gonna do is cut trim these down I might leave them a little long hmm might trim them a little bit more so they're a little shorter than the So that's it. So you just tie it there and you can add like a little charm or something right here if you want. So that's your book finished. It's really simple to make. Now you just gotta decorate the front and then you can decorate like uh, this, like this one that I did, you know, I decorated the front and then you can decorate the flaps of the envelopes. I had even thought of adding little magnets right here to keep them shut you don't have to but you can if you want and you just decorate them so here's the this one it's the front there's the envelope another envelope another envelope another envelope and then the back and you can add some embellishments in that pocket so that's it. Okay, so these are the, this is the one that I did in the tutorial. It's decorated. The only thing that I haven't done is I haven't rounded the corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and round them with my crocodile. And I do the quarter of an inch. The quarter of an inch um, rounded. Sometimes you have to cut them off with the scissors. So here's this one I just cut out this was one of the cut apart cards and I just uh, fussy cut it out and I uh, taped it to to this and then I glued on one of the bows from Aliexpress and it has a pearl center I think those are from Michaels so there's a front and then on this one I uh, I just on the envelopes I just used the cut apart cards that they had and I added some of the stickers to it from the collection so I made that or I put that on there and I made I used another one of the cut aparts and I just put the made some bows and put those on there there goes another one of the cut aparts made some flowers and then I just popped this I fussy cut this from one of the little cards and I just popped it up on some foam dots And these flowers I made from punches that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. And there goes another one of the cards. And this one is some butterflies. And this one. And these are some rosettes that I made. And then for the back, <clears throat> I just put some of the cut apart cards that were in the collection in there but you can add more embellishments like some maybe something flat to put in there so that's what I put in there so that's the 
the one I did the tutorial on, the Shaker Envelope Embellishment Book. And then I made this one, <clears throat> and I have to round the corners. But this one is using Jen um, Hadfield, Jen Hadfield Chasing Adventures. So I used um, some of the cut aparts from the collection and a felt doily that I had. And I used the sequence that uh, Cynthia from Disco Dolly sent me in the swap that we just did. She made uh, sequence mixes and she made some cute ones. They have like fruit in it. I showed it in my last video, but it has little fruit in it. And this collection's more of like a summer, summery collection. So that's why I added that. I used on the spine, I used the little llamas and I used uh, yellow twine and I put the cut apart on there I haven't made embellishments I just made these flowers that's the only thing I made of the embellishments so far but I'll just show you how I decorate it and this is one of the envelopes I did upside down but I mean once you put the embellishment on there you can't really tell that 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 much it still looks cute you could always decorate this side of the envelopes too if you wanted to the pocket so there's that one and I think it looks cute with the girls on the back so that's those two I just have to round the corners round the corners on this one this one I just rounded on here and then I have this one I need to still decorate this uh, um why can't I think of the name carousel carousel collection I need to decorate the front and then I need to decorate the envelopes and add my embellishments to it. And then this one, I just need to make some small embellishments for in here and add it to that. So these are quick, fun, uh, easy projects to make to send in Happy Mail, to send your embellishments in Happy Mail. So I will link the videos to Bona and then to uh, the Vintage Goose. So you guys can check out their channels and their videos. Let me know if you guys make one. I would like to see it. Tag us to it so that way we can check it out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And share it if you want. Alright, I'll see you on the next video.